walking it down the field. Pressure coming in from the blitz. It's picked up over the middle. And this is going to be caught 15-10. Five, and it's a touchdown for Tulsa. And Nigel Carter and a step on the defender. 6-0 Golden Hurricane. The field. Nigel Carter's working out of the slot position, runs a simple post route. He does a great job with his head, fakes outside, gets the safety to bite. He comes back by six foot four, 220. Great job, high point the ball. Going left. Hicks on the run, goes for Quinn. I think the foot was in, and it's a touchdown for SNU. Watching Ben Hicks on tape, one of the things that he really excels at is when he's on the move. They spread him out, they get him outside the pocket, even working to his left, squares his shoulders, and the savvy wide receiver, Trey Quinn, with an excellent route, catches the football with his hands and keeps those feet in bounds. Tulsa's had great success on the ground this year. Last year, they were deadly in the passing game as well. Skipper, one-on-one -on -one coverage again. Down the side, the catch made again by Hobbs. And Hobbs down to around the 15. Let's see where they mark him out of bounds. One opportunity in the passing game. It's great protection in the pocket for Luke Skipper. And Justin Hobbs beats Christian. And extremely effective for them in the red zone. Quarterback, not the best thrower, but runs this offense extremely effective. And on the zone read, a handoff to Brooks, and he breaks a couple of tackles, and Tulsa goes back out on top. Onu, the leading tackler for SMU, had a chance, could not hang on, and just like that, Tulsa counters. Proof freshman from Union right there in Tulsa. Onu's got him dead to rights. Guessing something here with a run pass option for President. He's going to keep it all the way, and he'll in! Touchdown, Tulsa! What a hold it opened up there, and Chad President just strolled into the end zone. He's been a red zone weapon this year for Tulsa since they made the switch to Luke Skipper as the starting quarterback. It's a quarterback sweep on the outside. They're going to fake the stretch. West on the carry. They're going to get 10 and a lot more here. West, 40. He's gone. West, touchdown. Their longest play is now 75 minutes. See, I thought you needed to run the football. You needed to run the football. They got exactly what they were looking for. It's an inside run between the tackles. Massive hole. The offensive linemen are out in front. And Braden West. The give to Brewer. Brewer again putting that foot on the ground and gone. Touchdown, Tulsa. been giving this Tulsa offensive line a lot of praise today. That was all D'Angelo Brewer. Wasn't a whole lot there initially. As you mentioned, he put that right foot in the ground. He cut back against the grain. Makes an excellent run. They want to be able to run the football. That's who they are coming in. Averaging over 250 yards a game on the ground. Pretty well defended initially by SMU. Brewer wants to get to the perimeter of the edge. Fakes the pitch. One end zone. Quinn, touchdown. SMU responding in a hurry. One. Sound offensive coordinator can set things up defensively. We've seen them run that toss several times so far this evening. Fake the toss. And Trey Quinn just has that knack to get behind the defense, the field to get open. Angelo Brewer doing the heavy lifting with Shamari Brooks out for the night and suffered an injury. Play action fake. Skipper. Hobbs is open. Juggling catch. And he'll go. Styling into the end zone. And he'll draw a flag for that. But it's still going to be a touchdown. As Onu and Davis, the two defenders, could not handle it. And Hobbs caught it. And it'll be a touchdown. But the flag you'll see will be for unsportsmanlike conduct on Hobbs. 72 yards. This will be the second unsportsmanlike penalty on Tulsa after a touchdown. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 29. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Or it is 
28-21. What a huge mistake by Justin Hobbs. Pitch to Freeman. Looks like he wants to throw it. He's going to throw it. Quinn's open. Makes the grab at the 15-yard line. First down. SMU. One of the best receivers in all college football. Be a good time. Quinn in motion. Freeman. He'll have to wait till the next series. The Ponies pick up six. 31-27. 3.36 remaining in the quarter. Offense responds. Power play, the guard Will Hopkins pulls around. Xavier Jones in, third down and 19. Hicks, going to go for it all right here. Just suck. he's open. The defender fell down. No way Sutton was going to miss that one. And he gets it into Tulsa territory, the big play. Jones, trying to get to the edge. He'll do it. Touchdown, SMU. Running off the left side of the offensive line, we are tied. He's working on Jesse Brubaker, one of their best defensive ends. When he does well, he keeps his hands inside. Hands inside, Brubaker. The second here on first and ten from their own 31. And off here, and a fake by Hicks. Actually, a great play action. Fake in the catch! Cortland Sutton laying out at the 20. Yard line on the three play dialed up by Joe Craddock, the offensive coordinator, and it's one on one coverage outside with Sutton and the safety McKinley Wood. You know, you're chomping at the big bit to get off the field, they extend the drive, never feels good. Now he's gonna have to use his legs again here. Now he's gonna go to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Rodney Clemens, the safety, came over and stepped into the passing lane. SMU takes over on the touchback. Back across his body into the middle of the field to Keenan Johnson. And it's a heads-up play by Rodney Clemens. Reading the quarterback's eyes. I apologize, going to Justin Hobbs. Rodney Clemens read the quarterback's eyes the entire way and easily steps in front.